They've topped the group with Gloucester and Munster, so this will be the toughest game they've played so far. Brian O'Mara gets Leinster on the way. In the Koniak on the pitch. And to see if O'Mara can slot one for the first time. None from two so far. It's now one from three. And finally, at the third time of asking, Brian O'Mara collects the first three points of the match. Potential drop goal for Edmonds. Edmonds with the drop goal, and he's done it. Warner, Quinlan, this is Hickey. Hickey on the burst, Darcy's outside for the line. Darcy's over, and roars of relief around Lansdowne Road. He saw that gap and broke it beautifully there. It's a wonderful pass by Quinlan. Hickey's pace just takes him beyond the cover of tackles. And Leinster with men to spare. Gordon Darcy eventually getting the touchdown with Dempsey just on the inside. It was a great ball. Warner's pass really been taken on the first. That was very well worked trying. Chip by Jordan here, and Bomarty is there. Try for Pascal Bomarty. Well, no, they've really fought back, come right back into this game. Looks like Leinster were really teeing things up to try and finish this job off but no Perpignan come back good continuity there that was a wonderful little chip it was picture perfect for B for Bamati this is a dangerous Perpignan side and Leinster really got it's been put up to them now they're in a very very difficult position they're not playing well and the momentum now swung firmly back in Perpignan's favour seven minutes between Perpignan and a place in the Heineken Cup final. Number 19 is John Daniel at Kiwi. And it was him who picked up and went for the drive. It's there! Leinster's dream is over. And it's the 36-year-old who has ended it. Mark Dalmazzo, a 12-year test career and now surely a place in the Heineken Cup final at Leinster's expense. Uh, fully deserved by Perpignan, they, they really were patient there. You might have heard the referee Nigel Williams say there are four minutes of injury time. But there are eight points between the teams at the moment, and this will be stretched to ten if Edmonds can have the conversion, which he can, and it means that Leinster need a converted try and a penalty to try and take the match into extra time. But the sands of time are now surely draining away on their European adventure. And Driscoll watches on and with 40,000 others watches and hopes. Knock on blue. The most unlikely of victors. No one gave them a prayer before the match. Everyone said it would be Leinster's party. It would be Leinster against Toulouse in the final, but it won't be. It will be an all-French final at Lansdowne Road on May the 24th. It's finished Leinster 14, Perpignan 21. And who would have thought it? Well, who would have thought it, but Leinster really didn't take the right mental attitude onto the pitch at all. Perpignan came prepared, they knew what they were doing. Sometimes it was illegal, but it was effective. They really shut Leinster down in the early part of the second half, and from there, all they needed to do was get Manny Edwards in position. They got the try as well, fully deserved victory, but Leinster will be kicking themselves. Well, it really is cruel, isn't it? But for the second time in a month, the bubble of Irish rugby has been punctured. Monster fell away in Toulouse yesterday, but really most observers would have thought that Leinster could have done the business here.